Hey guys, welcome back again and we are back with another video or me and my husband somewhere on the opposite side of the truck. Uh, today I am going to show you how to clean these seat belts on our newly acquired 1999 Land Cruiser 100 Series. Stay tuned. Alright, so if you guys follow our channel, we, you probably have seen the introduction to uh, our newly acquired L and uh, we're doing a bunch of different projects kind of simultaneously um, Reza is somewhere in the back doing whatever he's doing and even though it's cold outside I really want to clean these seat belts because they are disgustingly nasty because I don't think they ever been cleaned and the person who drove this before uh, wasn't very clean either apparently so i'm gonna show you what i did i already did another side and it was pretty easy it came out really good it's definitely not brand new but it's pretty close so you don't need much i have a towel on the seat just to cover the seat i have there he is what up? i have a bucket of warm water with just a dish soap in there the proper degreaser and stuff like that I have a little clip that we clip our open bag of chips so they don't open up. I have a pair of gloves. I have shout or any other really like spot cleaner you guys want to use. I have a little brush and I have this soap. Um, I use this for any stains or any clothing. This is pretty like it's just a laundry bar of soap stain remover you can find at any store in the laundry section it works great and I don't have it here with me but I also gonna have a hair dryer just to dry them out a little bit after I wash them so the process is pretty simple let me show you a little bit up close all right so just to give you an idea how dirty <laughs> this seat belt is this thing is properly disgusting so I'm gonna try to clean it as much as I can because it's definitely nasty and I really don't want us to use it or our daughter we're sitting in the back all right so let me show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull this out as far as I need to so this is pretty clean because it's probably never been used this far out so what I'm gonna do is take this buckle Oops, sorry for shaking the camera and push it I probably need it that far out push it up clip it so it stays out there and this is even though I'm not gonna wash this part right here let me give you a little bit better here even though I'm not gonna be washing this part out here it's gonna give me enough room to actually put this piece in the water and soak it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with shout with this stain remover and then I'm gonna kind of rub this soap on there that I told you about and I'm gonna let it sit in this warm bucket of water with the dish detergent and soak for probably 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure all this stuff is properly gets um, soaked off So it's been about 15 minutes the stuff been soaking so um let's see if i can get this start cleaning it is not warm outside to play in the water today at all <laughs> all right so idea is pretty much just get your water get your brush and uh get the scrubbing I think this will do. Just need to properly scrub it on both sides and then keep on going until you're done. All right, so I've been scrubbing this belt for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. This one was a lot worse than a passenger side that I did the other day, but it still looks much better. So it's still wet, so it's gonna get lighter as you dry it, which I am going to dry it out a little bit with just a nice um, towel dry towel and then I'm gonna kind of blow dry it a little bit just to get as much moisture as I can and leave this belt out like this sitting overnight so it can completely dry out because I don't want any moisture to go in and 
I don't want no mold. This car is already nasty enough. But it definitely uh, came out much better than it was. There's a couple of spots where these edges, I think they just... I just couldn't, no matter how much I scrub them and spray them and stuff, they just would not get clean, but everything else did. So I am about to dry it just like this, pretty much, get it as dry as I can, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the hair dryer. A little amendment, I forgot. So the last seat belt I did, what I did is actually got a clean water and rinsed it, and some of the dirty water uh, water still came out so I'm gonna do that first before I'm gonna start drying it so there it goes all right so I just got a warm clean water and all I'm gonna do is literally just put it in there and kind of try to rinse it some of that soap that I had in the shower and all the other stuff and get them as clean as possible and then I'm gonna start drying after that all right you guys so I dried it out and it actually did get quite a bit of water out because the towel is pretty wet and I got my hair dryer or a hair dryer <laughs> And I'm just gonna literally just gonna try to dry it with the hair dryer. Just like that. All right, so I've dried it a little bit. I'm not really feeling like standing here for next hour drying this out all the way because it is cold. It's definitely still damp, but it's much better. So you've seen it what it was like before, and this is what it looks like after it is done it is definitely not brand new but it is 100 times better than it was before so once it dries out it's gonna also get lighter and uh, now i just have uh, two more to do but maybe not today we'll see but if you guys have any questions or any anybody have any tips and tricks how to do this better maybe let me know in the comments other than that i really appreciate you guys watching thank you so much Sorry, Reza is shaking the car and it might shake the camera because the thing is leaning, I think. But anyway, so we'll see you guys in the next videos.